Assalamualaikum and hi. My name is Amira Natasha binti Azhari and I will present about one of the process of human resource management and staffing which is training and development. Training and development. Training program, development program, procedure which is have uh, for performer appraiser, analysis of job requirement, organizational analysis and employee survey and management development program which is have two on the job training and off the job training training programs a process designed to maintain or improve current job performance development programs a process designed to develop skills necessary for future work activities Managers can use four procedures to determine the training needs of individuals in the organization. First, performance appraisal. Each employee's work is measured against the performance standard for his or her job. Second, analysis of job requirement. Those employees without necessary skills or knowledge become candidates for training program. Third, organizational analysis. The effectiveness of the organization and its success in meeting its goals are analyzed to determine where different it is. Fourth, employee survey. Managers and non-managers are asked to describe what problems they are experiencing in their work action they believe are necessary to solve them. Management development program have two. One is on the job training. The definition is training a person to learn a job while working on it. The method frequently used are coaching, the training of an employee by his or her immediate supervisor. Second, job rotation involve shifting staff from position to position. Third, training position. Trainers are given staff posts immediately under a manager. Fourth, mentoring. A more experienced employee is paired with the newcomer to provide guidance, support and learning opportunities. There are advantages and disadvantages of on-the-job training. The advantages is cost saving. There is no need for expensive of job facilities like classroom or program learning device. And easier for trainee to learn real job setting like training learn while producing. Also easier to get feedback. Trainees learn by actually doing the job and get quick feedback about the correctness of their performance. And the last one of the advantages is can be conducted over a long period of time. Continuous learning until trainees become expert on the job. For the disadvantages are trainer must not be expert like trainer does not have training skill and extended period of training may cause boredom. For the second management program is off the job method. The method frequently used are classroom instruction. Specialists from inside or outside organization teach trainees a particular subject. It is often supplemented with case study, role playing and business simulation. Second, university sponsor management program. The organizations send their staff to university programs to broaden their perspective. Of the job training method also have their advantages and disadvantages. The advantages are trainer can concentrate and study without interruption, easy to use other teaching aid, can train large group, do not disturb normal routine work and reduce cause of mistakes. For the disadvantages are increase in cost of training and problem with transfer of learning. That's all about training and development. Thank you.
that's all about training and development thank you